Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome to today's video. Uh, if you're new, I'm Tiffany, and this is our small town life. I am so happy to have you here with us today. Today's video is going to be a budget-friendly Christmas gift guide, and I've had this video on my mind for a while now. I think it's important for me to say that giving gifts is not what Christmas is all about. I know that there are a lot of people out there struggling, trying to figure out how they're going to get all the gifts that they would like to get this holiday season. Um, I have to be very um, aware of what you know my budget is and how I'm spending money on Christmas gifts. But gifts are not what it's all about. If you can't afford to give gifts this holiday season, do not feel bad about that. Um, th this Christmas season is about so much more than the gifts. But I know that there's a lot of us who want to. We want to be able to give gifts. And I ran across this website. It's TeamU. And I will make sure to link it down in the description box for you. And when I saw some of the prices that they have, oh my goodness. I was like, we've got to do a budget-friendly Christmas gift guide. Because you can get gifts for the people that you'd like to gift gifts to on a budget, on a very affordable budget. I was blown away. I'm talking tennis shoes for $5. I got this first order and I wanted to kind of fill it out, see what the quality was like. I've already placed a second order that should be coming in any day now. So I wanted to share it with you all so that if you are looking for some budget-friendly gifts this holiday season, maybe this will help you out. I got several several Christmas gifts and then while I was ordering you know they've got a little bit of everything I saw some of the uh, baby things that I wanted to get that I still had on my list to get some stuff that I wanted to pack my hospital bag more specifically and so I went ahead and got some of those things as well so I'm going to start with the Christmas and then as a little bonus for you we will show you those things at the end I mentioned that they they had tennis shoes as low as $5, and I've actually ordered the boys some in my next order that's coming. I did get Audrey some in this order, though, not tennis shoes. I got her these canvas shoes, and these were probably one of the more expensive things that I got. They were about $10, I believe, and which way do they go? This way. Y'all, fun thing about having a teenage daughter, we wear the same size shoes, so I've already put these on myself to kind of see what they looked like on to see if they were comfortable and they are she is really into this animal she animal print she actually got a pair of tennis shoes not long ago that have this same print on them so i know that she's gonna love these now if you're new i have um, a teenager a 13 year old daughter i have a 10 year old son a seven year old son a one year old son and i'm currently pregnant <laughs> with baby number five these next things i actually got for Audrey and for my niece y'all shopping for teenagers can be hard sometimes but I saw these boggins and I got a black one and a khaki one one for my niece and one for Audrey they just look fun and they're very they feel like they're gonna be very good quality to go with that I got them these gloves so again I've got two sets of these gloves and they have little reindeer on them and the fingers are supposed to be made where you can still use a touch screen so you know another one of those things that I'm sure a teenager will appreciate I thought the boggin and the gloves would be a nice gift together this shirt here it's got a hood on it I got this for Easton my 10 year old and I thought he could wear it just like it is or he could even put a t-shirt under it and wear it unbuttoned here in Alabama you never know what kind of weather you're gonna get some days it's you know 80 degrees in December and some days it's 20 degrees in December so this will be a good thing for him to have that will be pretty versatile and his favorite color is yellow so I know he's gonna appreciate that along the same lines for Huddy my seven-year-old got this one here it's like a corduroy type fabric and I thought the same thing that he could wear it like this or he could wear it unbuttoned with a t-shirt under it 
Wyatt, my one-year-old, is into all the cars, the trucks, anything with wheels that he can push around. And so, got him this mixer truck, and he's going to be so excited about this and uh, excited that he can push it around and play with it. So, that's for my one-year-old. As I was scrolling through the website, Huddy walked up and was looking at it, and I saw these stuffed chickens, and he saw them too, and he got so excited. He is my stuffed animal person. <laughs> you will go in there at night to check on him, and he will be covered up with four or five stuffed animals in the bed with him. He loves stuffed animals. And when he saw these, there was this one, a white one, a brown one. And he said, look, it's just like our chickens. It's the same colors as our chickens. And so his are a gray color. And I got him the gray chicken. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to be so excited to see this thing on Christmas morning. I'm going to open this up. Ooh, crinkly paper. All right, so Audrey, she has a water bottle in her hand pretty much 24 seven, it seems like. She takes one to school, she has it for snacks, she has it for lunch, she takes it to ball practice with her, ball games, she always, always, always has a water bottle. And I saw these and thought, how stinking neat is this? So, let me open it up so it can get air in it. It's a collapsible water bottle. What? How cool. And I thought, you know, maybe may, it may be cheap. It may not feel very sturdy. It may not be where it can stand up on its own. Y'all, it's it's great quality. And she's going to think that that's really neat. And so we can store it like this. And then when she wants to use it, she can just open it up. And, you know, talking about needing to have it for ball practice and things like that, she could store it empty in her backpack and it not take up much space and then open it up and have a full-size water bottle also for Audrey she has been wanting a thermos that she can take warm food to school in and so I may go ahead and give her this I kind of mentioned to her that I had found one so I may I may go ahead and give this to her and I thought mm, you know is the size gonna be right that kind of thing it's perfect it's the perfect size it has a stainless steel inside, and it came with this spoon. Like I said, I may go ahead and give this to her so that she can be using it because I know it's something she's really been wanting to use for school lunches. And you'll notice several of these things that I got were for my teenager just because that's what I was seeing and it was what was catching my attention. That second order I was talking about, I went back through and looked, and I got a lot of stuff for the boys on that order um this right here is for audrey and it's let me show you the box it's an led color changing alarm clock and i got this for her because she has been using her telephone as an alarm clock and y'all i'm the mama who wants my kids to put every electronic device up at night. It has a spot that it goes. Um, we have a basket in the den for certain things and a basket in my room for other things and all tablets, phones, those kinds of things go in those baskets at night. And I've been allowing Audrey to keep her phone so she could use it for her alarm clock and she does fine with that. But like I said, I'm that mama who would rather have it put up in my room at night. So, in order to be able to do that so she still has an alarm clock, we got her this LED color changing alarm clock. Y'all look at this little gnome. Isn't he cute? So I got him thinking about playing Dirty Santa. We have a couple of places that we go to where we play Dirty Santa and he lights up Yes, yes he does. And so, he is probably going to be part of a Dirty Santa gift. It seems like with the ladies, Christmas decorations are always a big hit when we play those games. So, I decided to get this gnome and let it be part of one of those gifts. This next item I actually got 
three of them. One, two, and three. <laughs> And I was a little hesitant. I was like, what if I get three of these and then I don't, you know, get them and they're not what I was expecting. But I'm so glad that I did. I'm so glad that I did because these are fantastic cotton aprons. They are just, they're beautiful. So they'll be great for display in the kitchen, but also practical for use. I had a few different family members that I thought, oh, they would really like those. And so I went ahead and got three of them. And like I said, I'm so, so glad that I did. The quality on these is fantastic. And they're very kind of, um, what we call them? Farmhouse. We call it, what do we want to call them? <laughs> this style is very country farmhouse looking so like I said I think that the people I had in mind will appreciate these for display in their kitchen and for wearing and using you know when they're cooking and baking I also came across tons of great stocking stuffer ideas on this website I picked up a few on this order and then have even more coming on my second order but I got this magic cube it's kind of like a fidget cube you can you know, pull it apart, and flip it, and put it back together. And I wasn't sure which kiddo this was going to be for. You couldn't, I don't think you could pick the color. I think it was just a random color. So I think that Audrey will probably appreciate the pink more than the boys. So this will probably be hers, but these would be great. You know, like I said, as a stocking stuffer, that's what I'm planning on do, on you know, doing with this. And all of my kids will end up playing with it because they love these kinds of fidget things. Got this container of hair bows for Audrey. And you could choose the color on these. They had several different colors. And these are her two favorite colors. So I got those for her for her stocking. This will go in Wyatt's stocking. And I've actually been looking for one of these because I've heard really great things. He's my one-year-old, and he doesn't mind brushing his teeth. He's probably my easiest child I've had to get him to brush his teeth. But, like I said, I've heard great things about these. And I did not expect for the price for this to be the quality that it is. The little lid cover snaps on nice and tight. It feels very sturdy. And, y'all, it's a toothbrush, so you can put this in their little mouth and twist it like this and brush all of their teeth at the same time. And I know he's going to think that it's fun, <laughs> and so it's just going to make brushing teeth that much more fun for him. One of those things I was really, really excited to find. And I got this hair bow for Audrey's stocking, or it's a, what do we, what do we want to call this? Is it a clip? Is it, I don't know, but she's been wearing her hair in a bun a lot lately. We've never used one of these. I've never used one of these. I don't think she's ever used one of these, but you put it over your bun and squish it tight. Oh no, it just looked really cool. <laughs> and so I got that to go in her stocking. Now, moving on to some of the items that I found to go in my hospital bag. Uh, let's start with these shoes here because I've mentioned some shoes already. I have a similar pair to these that I got, oh, was it back in the summer maybe or even late spring? And I've worn the hound out of them. And so, when I saw that they had this same style on their website, I got me a second pair because I want to save these to take to the hospital with me. I'll probably wear them to the hospital, wear them around the hospital, wear them home from the hospital. I can wear them in the shower. Like these things are fantastic and they're so comfortable. So I was excited to see these. I ordered this robe here. It's a silk robe and I probably should have gotten one size bigger. I was thinking, Oh, this would be so pretty to take pictures with the new baby in the hospital. And I may still pack it and we'll see, but I probably should, it's my, and it's my fault, but I probably should have ordered one size bigger. Speaking of, Team U has fanta a fantastic return policy as well. So I could return this and get a size bigger, 
but I also know that it will work for me, you know, weeks after having the baby, so I may just keep it. I don't know. I've been going back and forth on that, whether I want to send it back and get a size bigger or just keep this one. I guess we'll see. I've also been thinking about what I want to wear for labor and delivery, and in the past, I've always worn the hospital gowns, but for some reason, that's sounding really uncomfortable to me <laughs> right now, and I thought, well, maybe I'll just wear like a sports bra and my black robe, and so I got this seamless bra, and it will probably get packed in case it's something that I want to wear for labor and delivery. And you'll get to see these items again when I pack my hospital bag because that's going to be coming up very, very soon, y'all. So this right here, I've been meaning to get one of these. And I had the name brand with white, and I used it all the time. I used it all the time. And when we were moving and it got packed up and put into storage, I don't know if it was the temperature change or what, but it... It got a little discolored, and the silicone just didn't feel right anymore, so I had to get rid of it. So I knew I wanted to get a new one before this baby came, and I was going to go ahead and order that name brand again, but then I saw this for half the price, and I thought, well, let's get it and just look at it and see what we think. I think I like this even better. Now, I've not used it yet, but I did kind of... Put it on my hand to check the suction and different things. And it just, it feels sturdier. And I like this cover that you can snap on it. So this is a, in case you don't know what this is, this is a silicone breast pump. So when you're feeding baby on one side, you put this on the other and it catches any extra milk. I've also used it as a hand pump. Um, like I said, <laughs> I use that other one all the time, multiple times every single day. And so when I saw that I could get this one at half the price, that's what I did. Speaking of packing a hospital bag, I got a bag. When we had Wyatt just a little over a year ago, I packed a rolling suitcase, but I, I packed pretty minimal and it was just a lot of extra room in the suitcase. And I thought, let's get a bag and see how that goes. So this is the bag that I got. And I think that we'll be able to put all of our stuff in here just fine. And carry this bag and the diaper bag with baby's things and be good. <laughs> you know, I may start putting things in here and be like, no, I got to bring out the suitcase. But this bag is what I ordered. And it has a lot of pockets. It's a little misshapen right now just because it's been in a box but it has all kinds of pockets on it and I think I'll be able to put all of our stuff in here just fine and that's what I'm planning on us taking our things to the hospital in. I also really really wanted packing cubes but it was one of those things where I had not convinced myself. I looked at them on you know different websites and things and I just kept telling myself no just put your stuff in the bag. You don't need the pack. You don't need to spend the money on the packing cubes. Then I saw packing cubes at a price that I was very comfortable with. And so I got this set. It's a six piece set. I plan to use some of these bigger sizes for mine and Justin's clothing items. Then this one here, I will probably put, I don't know. This one may have socks and those kinds of things in it. We'll have to see when we start to pack it, but there's three that are that style with the mesh and the zipper. And then it had three bags and I will probably use these one as a toiletry bag. And I will probably also use one of these to put some things in that I just want to have right beside my bed. I also got this set of plastic bags, and they were a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. I thought I would be using these two biggest sizes, but I may actually be using the smaller sizes or maybe the ones in the middle. Uh, and my thought with these is that I want to pack 
some of my things that I plan to just leave in the restroom at the hospital. Put all that in one bag. That way I can pull it out, put it in the, in the bathroom, and leave it there. I'll probably also take one for, I may take this bigger one in case I have sold clothes or something that I don't want to just put in the bag or, you know, it back in our big bag. I can throw them inside of this and they won't be against any other clothing or anything. Uh, I'll probably use one to put some snacks in. So that's what those are for. Y'all, I got all of this for a little over a hundred dollars. That blows my mind. And I know that there are a lot of other people out there who are in the same boat as me and you're looking for a way that you can get gifts um, and, and other things that you may need, just like I did with a hospital bag stuff, at a price that doesn't break the bank. And so I want to be sure that I shared this with you. I hope you found it helpful. Have you ever ordered from this website? Have you ever ordered from Teamu? Or do you plan on ordering from Teamu? Let me know down in the comments. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.